Hello everyone and welcome to the Windows Phone Usage Guide. Today we are going to talk about some of the basic things that you will be doing on your smartphone. So, first we'll talk about installing apps from the SD card using custom ringtones, taking a screenshot, saving downloads to the SD card, call waiting and call forwarding as well as 1080p video playback. Log into your Windows Phone account on your PC, then go into the App Store. Let's say we want to download 6 guns. Then you will see at the bottom of the listing, you have an option to download and install manually. Just click that option and an XAP file will be available for download. Once it is downloaded, you need to copy that file and select Windows Phone and paste it to the SD card. Once the copying is complete, just reboot your Windows Phone. Then go into the store, you will have a separate option called SD card in store. Tap that and you will be shown all the installable apps that are present on the SD card. So we have six guns at the present. See, let's begin installing. It does take a little bit more time to install from the SD card. And you can see it has appeared in the games collection. And you can see that it runs perfectly fine. Let's get to custom ringtones. Say you want to change the ringtone of your phone. So just copy the music you want to use as ringtone, paste it to your phone and ringtones folder which will be your phone storage and disconnect your phone. Then go into settings, ringtones and sounds and then the ringtone. Just scroll to the very top and you will be able to see the custom option. Just tap on any of the music files and voila, they will be used as your default ringtone from now on. Taking a screenshot on Windows Phone is again quite easy. You just have to press the power button and the Windows key simultaneously, just like that. And all your screenshots get saved either on your SD card or phone memory, whichsoever you have chosen. So you can see from right here, you have the screenshot right there. Now, as I was saying, you can choose whether to save files to your SD card or phone storage. For that you need to go into settings and phone storage. At the bottom you have two options. So you can select whether to store your files on phone storage or your SD card. It's quite easy. So any new downloaded files will be automatically saved to your chosen configuration. Now let's talk about call waiting and call forwarding. So you need to go into network plus settings. Then click on set. So at the very top you have the option to enable or disable call waiting. So we have disabled it. Now we can enable it very easily. At the bottom, you have four options to choose when do you want to enable call forwarding and to which number you want to send it to. Now let's talk about 1080p video playback. For that, you need Molly Player Pro. You can get a trial version for free. However, the app actually costs dollar 2.99. So you can see that at present we are playing the video that's 1080p in software mode because hardware mode is not supported. The phone can play only 720p videos natively. So Molly Player is actually like MX Player for Windows Phone. Let me just zoom in a bit. So there are no frame rate issues and no sync issues as well. There is no stuttering or lag either. But that was a look at the Windows Phone usage guide. If you have any other questions regarding its usage, just hit us in the comments below. You can also watch its full review, gaming as well as unboxing from right here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter as well as Google+. This was Abhinav Parak for PhoneBind signing off. Thank you and have a great day.